Good evening, everyone. I am Angel from Lima in Peru, and this is my channel, Reading Means Life. Continuing with the um, Mario Vargas Llosa channel, you know, that he's the only Nobel Prize that Peru has, I have read his very first uh, novel, which was published in 1963, and it um, could, con could be considered one of the first works of the Latin American boom. Um, its original name is um, La Ciudad y los Perros, which literally means the city and the dogs. However, uh, the title in English is this one, The Time of the Hero. Well, basically, this um, novel is um, expresses the, the path in the life of a teenager who becomes a man in a traditional machos, uh, macho society. It's a, a, about a group of cadets at the Leoncio Prado Military Academy in Callao, which is the, the port of Lima. Um, and the values and the lack of values and that the, the culture or the male culture um, um, has or had at that time. Well, there are many of those aspects con continue until now. This is a group of cadets um, led by the Jaguar and one of the main characters, an aggressive uh, teenager who not only led that group, the, the, the poet, who is the main character, uh, also uh, Cava, the peasant, uh, well, in Spanish the word is more precise, el serrano. Serrano is the, uh, the inhabitant of the Andes, okay? you know, because that uh, military academy um, um, had um, many uh, Afro-Peruvian, many mestizo boys as its uh, students, uh, rather than, you know, the typical uh, Creole or uh, white guy as the Jaguar. And on the other extreme of those uh, boys who, who never uh, let anyone humiliate them, especially the, the, the older guys, you know, that there are just three, three years of secondary school that they study, on the other extreme is the, the slave, okay, uh, Arana, uh, his uh, surname was. Uh, he was, um, you know, hit, he was uh, insulted, he was um, offended and humiliated in the most horrible ways because he was the opposite of what a man was supposed to be, to make others respect you. If you cannot make uh, others respect you well, so you just... Um, uh, lost that condition of being a man and uh, being a, um, a member of the military was that being a man uh, that uh, involved um, smoking, drinking, escaping from, from, from school uh, and that is something that he never did. Okay, well, and because um, they stole his, his things, uh, they made him uh, stay um, at, at, the, at the academy for many weekends uh, as, as a kind of punishment. So um, one day he was really uh, frustrated because of that. So uh, what he did was to talk to one of the superiors in probably the, the, the most important character re regarding the, the adult characters, uh, Lieutenant Gamboa. Well, that superior uh, learns that about uh, who had stolen the, the chemistry exam, because that is how the, the, the novel starts. Uh, you know that there was a kind of black market uh, led by, by the students. I don't know if I am uh, if I'm mistaken, but I think that that corruption involved uh, some um, some of the of the authorities of, of, of the school. However, uh, the slaves decides to reveal who had stolen. Okay, and of course, uh, Kava, the peasant, was exposed. Uh, that's uh, how, or that's why, uh, the jaguar during a, a you know a practice, a kind of exercise that those cadets had outside Lima. Uh, killed, okay, shot uh, and, and the slave, okay, so um, the official truth, the official version was that uh, the slave uh, killed himself because he was 
a stupid. Okay, you know he he didn't he didn't even know how to use a gun. Uh, so um, that was the official version. That was the the version that uh, uh, Arana's uh, family received, and that was just uh, the end. However, um, Alberto, uh, the poet, uh, a guy who was um, not uh, not uh, he was in the middle, right? Uh, not an aggressive guy, not a passive guy, but he knew when to fight. He knew when to you know to keep uh, things down, things calm, and well, uh, he accuses the Jaguar. Um, of, of having killed um, uh, the slave. Uh, however, uh, you know, um, the, it, it, here in this in this novel, um, because Vargas Llosa sometimes uh, I don't know who Vargas Llosa is and who the, the 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 poet is. I have read his autobiography, and yeah, there are many parallels, many things that uh, make me recall uh, one book or the other. So um, he he has a really really deep knowledge of life in, in, in that school and, and military ranks and uh, military attitudes because he uh, himself studied at that, uh, at that school. Um, so, well, no more spoilers, <laughs> but uh, I can tell you that um, it is never revealed um, what really happened. And that was um, uh, Alberto's fr frustration because he was the only friend that uh, the slave had. Uh, also, there are many characters, of course. Ter uh, Teresa, one, uh, one of the one of the girls, one of the main uh, female characters, because you know those uh, those uh, uh, cadets are teenagers. They are adolescents, so they um, awake in in different uh, senses, uh, in love, in sex, because they visit a prostitute called the, the Golden Feet, uh, <laughs> uh, La Pez Dorados. Uh, they also start uh, some kind of romance, and they also learn uh, what uh, it means to be a man. A man, you know, as set in 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 the first half of the of the 20th century, and many of those aspects continue. You, that you need to fight. That if if um, if they don't respect you, you are a dead man. Okay, so you you will never be uh, be uh, what. You know, society expects from you. That's why I really recommend reading this book. This is um, really well written, even uh, though in some uh, dialogues uh, the phrases look rather innocent for teenagers in the 21st century. I, I can see a, a kind of innocence, okay, that uh, has unfortunately been lost nowadays. So in 379. This edition is um, of 1988. I found it at the British Library here in Lima. I really recommend reading that. And of course, even though it's shocking and the vocabulary can be not appropriate for children, it deserves a five because that's an iconic novel, not only by Vargas Llosa, uh, but in Latin American uh, literature. Okay, that's all. Bye bye.